Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm making a guide on using CheckFuss. Uh, CheckFuss is a good uh, software to check what um, firmware you're on, uh, on a certain devices and also to see what the latest version officially is um, for, for your country or for your, um, for your carrier. So what you want to do is download CheckFuss Downloader uh, over here, I've, I've got the 2.1 version. Once you've got that you'll have uh, the CheckFuss Downloader and when you double click on it it'll usually ask for uh, permission to open it and then open it up and it will create a DB data uh, file as well on your uh, wherever you've opened it. Right, so when you've got it uh, over here, you can uh, choose firmware. There's also an advanced uh, section, uh, which is a little bit extra, where you can um, you can put stuff yourself, even uh, for example, browsing uh, browsing for certain files. However, we're just going to go in a standard and go choose firmware Android. And over here you can select your phone. So in my case, I'm going to choose the uh, Galaxy S3. And my region is BTU, uh, United Kingdom. So that's uh, what you get out of, well, basically if you buy it um, unlocked. And so over, you can, over here you can see that I've got the i9300 uh, uh, and it's XXALE8 with BTU. And I can confirm that is right because uh, on my website uh, when, I, when I first bought the phone, the first thing I did was to check, um, to check if it was uh, exactly that. And so I shall show you that right now go through my posts and so over here I remember taking pictures of my firmware that my phone came with here we go and the two files so the CSC on default was BTU so as you can see I've got BTU over there as the product code obviously this um, CSC will be relating to the XXAALE8 and over here you can see what version I came with with CSE PDA and phone over there and as you can see that corresponds with what it is there so I can confirm that as it's actually what it is so phone is over here is and AP is up top and CSC there so now what you want to do is check what's the latest official firmware that is out for me right now so I might be on a custom ROM for example and I want to flash back to stock so if you hit uh, check firmware it will come with the latest firmware and the latest firmware uh, as of the 8th of um, 8th of July is the XXBLFB which again I can confirm is correct because that you can get officially so to get that all we have to do now is hit download so what we're going to do is hit download choose the directory where we want to download and we'll start downloading Bear in mind, it will take a little bit of a while uh, because, well, it is downloading a ROM and, well, in this case, uh, the ROM is around 700 odd megabytes. But um, I want to show you also uh, using, using this on the i9000. So this is my older phone, but I still keep it with me. So the i9000 in my case is there. And now to choose the firmware, it was bought from Carphone Warehouse, so it was basically unlocked. Let's do that. So it was on JVO. Well, I know when I bought it, it was back on Froyo, so it's, it's quite old. So JVO, and as you can see, the latest one is JW4 slash JW5, which again is correct. So this is quite useful for finding out what firmware is the latest firmware out on um, on your phone for what uh, for whatever region so for example let's go Slovakia as you can see that values changed and if we check the firmware they're they're on JW5 JVC J, JV1 so as you can see it's a little bit different depending on the region and obviously you want to get the right region so if you want to send it back to your carrier or uh, you know, your phone provider or if you want to send it back to uh, Samsung you'd want to make sure it's on the right um, the right uh, the right place now uh, we're gonna wait for this to download and I'll get back to you guys after it's finished downloading and right we're back so as you can see uh, over here it says happy flashing please consider donation so if you want to donate hit that button and go and donate uh, to the uh, to developer 
Um, and so over here, you will see that we've got a uh, file, a zipped file. So usually, uh, well, usually you'll have to uh, unzip it. So what we're going to do is extract the files, put them on the desktop. As you can see, this this was in this case it was 1.18 gigabytes. So as you can see, it was not small at all. The the download didn't take actually that long, um, so that's quite good. Um, so yeah, just extract it and wait for it to extract. Meanwhile, uh, whilst I was uh, whilst I was waiting for it to download, I updated on my website uh, the post. And this post will be linked down in the description of uh, my my video. And so over here, as you can see, I've provided some some links, um, and the two notable links will be linked to Odin 1.85 and 3.04. So what you want to do is download um, either or. So I'm just going to show you that downloading both is possible. Right. So if you want to just hit download. This will be downloading from my uh, my dev host account, right? So once it's downloaded, you'll have the two files there. So we can close those. And as you can see, we're going to have two files over here. These two files. I already had Odin Odin already there, but I'll go with the ones that uh, I just downloaded with you guys on the video over here. So um, what we're going to do is open these up and extract them as well. But uh, here is the extracted firmware. So we can close all of this. We can close CheckFuss now. So CheckFuss has done its job basically of uh, downloading a firmware. And you can see over here uh, the file. And we're going to put this into Odin. So you can actually get rid of the zip file now uh, because there's no longer any need for it. So now, uh, which Odin version to use? Well, I would suggest if you're on the i9000, use the 1.85. And if you're on the, um, the Galaxy S3, I'd use a 3.04. But regardless, they do the exact same job and do the exact same thing. So don't worry about that. Uh, either or is okay. So right, let's open up Odin. And the principle will be the same thing. I'll do you guys a favor. I'll open up the 1.85 as well. Just to show you, it's the exact same thing. So as you can see, the look is just a little bit different, but apart from that, you pretty much got the same principle. So in PDA, what we're going to do is hit PDA, and this is obviously for the Galaxy S3. So this will depend on on your firmware and what you you're you're doing. But uh, for the Galaxy S3 case, uh, all you have to do is put PDA and no and nothing else. So leave PIT, leave root partition. In the i9000 case, now I've got some, I've got a, a firmware which I know uh, that I've got on my on my uh, on my computer, and. As you can see, for example, in this case, it will be JW4, and this will be a full file installation of JW4. And there you go, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much Odin set up with repartition PIT and a full file installation for the i9000. So seeing as we're not flashing the i9000 today, we're going to leave that apart. But as, I, as, as you can see, it is pretty simple to flash over a, um, a ROM. It's not hard at all. and um, you'll have all the files and if it's a if it's a, a a two file installation or a one file installation even you'll have PDA only and you'll have to put the PIT and repartition again this is for the i9000 the Galaxy S1 I can't stress that enough but anyway there's the Galaxy S3 there so now what I'm gonna do you probably see on the screen somehow or somewhere um, I'm gonna edit this video that I've got the Galaxy S3 in my hands and um, I'm entering download mode. So what I'm going to do is flash the ROM with you guys. So as you can see, Odin is open, and the phone is plugged in now. And there you go. You will see on the phone, uh, on the computer, a uh, COM7 uh, or COM something. Uh, which will come up and all you want to do is hit start so again this is for the Galaxy S3 uh, which is only using the PDA um, whereas um, other other um, other phones for example the i9000 the Galaxy S1 uh, might need a PIT so um, just bear that in mind when uh, when flashing firmware and following this guide 
So as you can see, sometimes it does take some time. As you saw, it said not responding. Do not panic, just leave it, just give it some time. And after literally 20 seconds, the, the firmware should start flashing. So now you can see on the screen that it's currently flashing. And uh, you can see on the camera that um, my phone is currently downloading in download mode. So I'll get back to you guys after the ROM has finished flashing. Right, so as you can see, it is uh, finished flashing. So now we can close. Um, we can close Odin. As you can see on the screen, uh, I should be uh, on the phone right now, and you see that the phone is flashed. It hasn't wiped, obviously, because I am on. Um, I didn't repartition. But as you can see now, it's on uh, LFB and it's on stock uh, on a stock kernel. But one does not simply leave a. Uh, Android phone on rooted so this will be very very quickly rooted with uh, CF root but as you can see uh, the, the firmware has successfully flashed so um, there you go guys I hope this guide has helped you uh, remember this this guide uh, really applied to Ga the Galaxy S3 however it can be used uh, as a reference for a any other device on that list um, so definitely check that program out, it is very very useful, I think it's, it's more useful than going on websites and checking firmware, I think this is the best way to actually check firmware and download firmware. So I hope you enjoyed this guys and don't forget to donate to the developer uh, for creating this program, free program to, for you guys to use, so if you like it then donate to him, at yeah, the end of the day that um, it's, a, it's a service he's providing. So enjoy guys, totally dubbed out, take care. Bye-bye.